When Paul Gray from Tamworth was struggling with chronic fatigue, he didn't receive too much sympathy. People around him suggested everybody got tired sometimes. Skeptics said ME didn't exist. I'm housebound, I fall over a lot, pain 24-7. Uh, the GPs don't know really what to do yet because the virus has just been clarified. It seems we're all left in limbo and people are suffering for it. But a study funded by ME Research UK and the Young ME Sufferers Trust has found that the illness could be caused by a virus. They say their work shows a detectable defect in the sufferer's immune system. For the first time in children, we've actually shown real abnormalities. And you may know that there is this question about whether ME is all in the mind. And this is quite distressing for our patients and for their relatives and, and carers. And here we have, for the first time, some evidence that there is a physical abnormality, there is a true disease here. Have a look at the news that's coming out today and in the next few days and the fact that uh, the UK are banning all blood donations from November the 1st from ME sufferers. That's whether they've had it before or now, and that's a ban for life, which in my mind is proof that it isn't a mental illness. For people like Paul Gray, today's findings provide the clinical proof that ME is a real illness. And now that experts know how the syndrome is caused, they can begin to work on finding a treatment for the illness, a breakthrough people like Paul Gray say is long overdue. Rachel Ward, Central Tonight.